What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Hurt, coming to you with another episode of Afterlife where we talk about anything and everything that we feel like talking about today. That's right. Whatever we uh, reach in the bag of goodies of subjects and we pull out, we're going to dive right into and talk about today. And today's no different. We're going to talk today about Tunchi, Spud Juice, Wax and Weed, and other drugs in prison. That's right. So today... Tunchi is one of the, if not biggest, sellers in prison next to Spud Juice or whatever. Tunchi is K2, a.k.a. Um, I've heard K2 sprayed on it. Um, I've heard bug spray sprayed on it. I've heard of bee killer stuff like that sprayed on it. Um, paint thinner sprayed on paper or whatever. And uh, that just goes to show, though, that... Uh, they spray pretty much whatever on a on a legal piece of paper the way that I've seen it get brought in numerous times. I could have been brought in other ways, but the way that I've seen it get brought in numerous times was through legal mail. Um, people on the outs uh, say I've had like people on the outs that are looking out for me, uh, sending me shit. They would get a hold of my legal representation, a.k.a. my lawyer, and they would get legal forms or legal whatever from my lawyer to send to me. Envelopes, so on and so forth from the office, all that shit, so it looks legit. <clears throat> and then they would just have to stamp it, shit like that. Um, but the legal paper or whatever, so say this is a legal document or whatever, they could have this whole bottom sprayed with K2 and or bug spray and or bee killer shit like that and <clears throat> before it got sent out or whatever they talked to their people on the phone or whatever and they would talk in code obviously because the police are listening all the time and they're always trying to catch you or trying to you know one up us or whatever and uh so the people would talk in code <clears throat> and let them know like hey you got you know, legal paperwork coming, you know, look out for such and such. And at the bottom of the one section of paper that's folded, it's all money. It's all money. Cut it up, <clears throat> sell it, whatever. So they would pretty much have this whole section right here. Sorry, I got kind of whatever, but like this little section here would be all K2 or Toonch. So they would just piece by piece cut it up, whatever. That little bit right there is probably 30 bucks right there. 30 to 40 bucks in prison or whatever. So they would take this whole thing and just section it out, section it out, section it out. And you know, that right there is probably like 500 to to $1,000 right there worth of tunch or whatever. And they would just sell it out, sell it out. And people would smoke it. People would find ways to light it up and get a freaking straw or get a pen and just and freaking there you go and we ain't smoked in three to six months if not years excuse me um and they would smoke that they get high that's a hustle in there that's called tooch now another one is spud juice spud juice is just another name for another bathtub nasty ass prison made liquor or booze or whatever now the easiest way i've seen it made is uh they'll get somebody from the kitchen that has access to the milk or whatever um which i worked in the back of the kitchen so i had access to that shit i've done it a couple times actually for you know some money just on my books or some food or whatever coffee or whatever um, cause I never partook in it. So I would just usually help out and get food or money just to survive. So I would get a five gallon bag that milk came in that had a little cap on the top or whatever that you would open and empty the milk into the containers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I would take that bag. I would save it, put it down my pants or put it somewhere where, I'm not going to get searched or whatever. And then I'd take it back to the block. Well, then people would get in, would go in cahoots with each other 
and get like four or five people that would trade off in the morning and try to get, you know, four cups to five cups each of orange juice. You know, that's 20 cups of orange juice for per five people, four cups each. That's 20 cups of orange juice. That's a good gallon, gallon and a half of some shit. That's a good, that's, that's a good start because then you would get some, uh, what's it, some sugar, some fruit possibly. See, you can just let the orange juice sit and it'll ferment over time, three to five days, whatever. But if you want it to get better, I've seen people put uh, sugar, put some bread in there, put some fruit in there, and then put some uh, Kool-Aid packs or whatever to make it taste better, whatever. And then every two to three days, they would burp it because it's going to expand, it's going to expand, whatever. And then they would burp it just to push the gas out, whatever. And then another two, three days, they, you know, it, it'll expand, expand some more because it's cooking, it's fermenting, whatever. They would burp it some more. And then by the end of the week, if not 10 days in, <clears throat> uh, they got a good batch of nasty ass liquor that's you know ready to go ready to drink they would they would you know bottle it up in 20 ounce bottles of pop or whatever 20 ounce bottle pop bottles 20 ounces and uh sell that shit for nine bucks a bottle pretty much and uh you'd get lit off that because again you haven't drank in three to six months if not a year years or whatever because we're dealing with prison it's not county jail where it's only months we're dealing with years here um, easiest way I've seen it made. Uh, the second to last ones that I am going to talk about today is weed and wax. Um, the way that I've seen weed and wax come in is two ways. One, your people paid off a CO. They know some CO out there. Uh, they're bringing the weed and wax in. You know, a little bit of weed, like a quarter of weed is going to go a long way. Like a little little fingertip of weed is going to go for 20, 30 bucks in the joint. And that's a very small penner, if if not a penner or a bowl. Um, same with the wax or whatever. They're going to bring in, you know, two, three grams because, again, <clears throat> you can sell that little, know if you can see it or not, but that little bit of paper or whatever right there is going to have some wax in it, whatever. That right there is 10 bucks easily so you got a couple grams of wax or whatever you got little little pieces like that for 10 10 15 bucks you're gonna make a good freaking couple hundred 300 bucks off of two grams if not 500 or more um again they either sneak it in through the co's or whatever or they got a visitation or whatever so your people would come in <clears throat> and you, again, you got to hope and pray that your people are down for the cause or they're going to mess up and just get caught up or whatever. But you got to just be ballsy in this kind of situation. Um, your people would bring in the wax or weed and they would hide it in their, you know, wherever they would hide it. And during your visit, you better hope and pray that you got a CO that's not watching you, that's not on to you and keeping tabs or whatever. And then you would somehow pass it off and um, you would either stick it in your ass or put it in your balls or whatever. And, uh, you know, you most of the time the COs, they would never they would never ass or nut check you. They would usually just make you strip down to your underwear and they would tell you just to shake out your drawers or whatever. So if you got anything in your drawers or whatever, but if you got it under your nuts or in your ass, Obviously, it ain't going to come out or whatever. So those are the two ways that I've seen it get brought in. Um, and then you just come from visitation up to your block, bag it up, chop it up, whatever, and get to selling pretty much. Um, it's the way that I've seen those things made, those things brought in. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little something, a little different. Uh, like and share, comment, post, whatever. This is your boy Hurt coming to you with another. Have a good day, everybody.